Hey you guys and welcome back to another episode from me and I your sis Tam Kim and in today's video I'll be doing a product review on a oldie but goodie hair company called Afrosheen. If you do not know about Afrosheen, Afrosheen is a old company that was made in the 60s and 70s, black owned. I'm not really sure if it's still black owned but in the 60s and 70s it was black owned and Afrosheen made um, hair sprays, hair creams, hair gels, you name it, they had it. And it actually reformulated their products, which is the products that I'm gonna be using in today's video. So these are the products that were sent to me by Afrosheen and Impressions of Beauty. One thing I'm gonna say is the packaging is super duper adorable, but let's get into the products that I received today. So the first product is the Afrosheen Texture Setting Cream Gel. Next we have is the Luster Fro Butter, the Crown Defining Curl Cream, the Velvet Flow 4-in-1 Leave-In Detangler and Curl Refresher, and the Glow Up Shine Spray that finishes and adds shine. So in today's video, I'll be doing a permanent set using the Velvet Flow 4-in-1 Leave-In Detangler and Refresher, the Lust Fro Butter, and the Crown Defining Curl Cream. Okay guys, so I already washed my hair and divided it into four sections. I made sure that my hair wasn't super duper wet because I don't want it to be super duper wet when I do style my hair just so it can speed up the drying process. So I am going to just blot it down a little bit just to get that extra moisture out of there or the extra water out of there because we do want our hair to be moisturized now. So I'm just going to divide my hair into two sections and then spray down the 4-in-1 leave-in spray. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Velvet Flow 4-in-1 leave-in and detangling spray. So this is a detangler and a curl refresher. This has no sulfates, no mineral oils, no parabens, and no petroleum. And all of the products don't have any of this. This product actually has Madagascar Vanilla for lint retention, coconut oil for conditioning, and shea butter for moisture. Okay, so it says the Curl Velvet is a 4-in-1 formula that provides curl refreshing, hydration, shine, detangling, and heat protection benefits to textured hair. Okay, so I'm just going to spray down each of these sections. Now this leave-in isn't like a watery leave-in, it's more of like a creamy spray leave-in. It's on a thicker end just a little bit which I like because I don't like the watery kind of sprays. Now the scent of this leave-in kind of gives me like that throwback hair product smell. Like it's kind of like on the masculine type of scent if you kind of get my dress. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to spray down both of these sections. Okay, so that's that. So the next thing I'm going to use is the Crown Defining Curl Cream. And this defines and hydrates. And it has flaxseed oil to nourish, coconut oil to condition, and shea butter to moisturize. So this is what it's looking like inside. The consistency is on the thicker end, but it looks like it might actually be a little bit creamy as well. Not really moving too fast, but it's getting there. Okay, so I'm going to first apply this curl cream onto this section right here. And the curl cream really doesn't have a scent at all, which I don't really mind. The consistency is really, really nice. It's really, really creamy, not too thick at all. So I'm going to take about this much. And it feels really, really good being applied to my hair. The Curl Defining Curl Cream is a non-greasy formula that hydrates and defines your kinks, coils, and curls. A blend of flaxseed, coconut oil, and shea butter provides the perfect balance of hydration and definition. Saw as desired, perfect for twist out, braid outs, finger coils, rod sets, and wash and goes. And the final thing I'm going to use is the Lush Fro Butter that nourish and hydrates. It also has flaxseed oil to nourish coconut oil, and shea butter for moisture. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just make small sections to start applying the butter and the perm rod set. So the butter actually smells, it almost smells like a little bit of vanilla and coconut mix, um, but it actually looks like a solid butter. It doesn't move for anything. It's kind of like a shea butter in a sense. So I'm just going to use a little bit of butter here, not too much, for each section. Definitely don't want to weigh down my hair at all. Twist it up a little bit. So like I said, I'm going to add this amount of butter. 
So one thing I noticed with the butter, it doesn't really mix, like it doesn't melt in my hand, which is kind of weird. It just kind of sits there and it's, it's super duper thick. So you don't want to use too much of the butter because I feel like it may weigh down your hair, especially if you are like low porosity or have like thinner strands. This butter, if you use too much, I feel like it might actually weigh down your hair, which I'm sure a lot of us like volume. So yeah, I don't want my hair to be weighed down. I don't know about you. Okay guys, so I finished applying all my perm to my head. So tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and take these bad boys out and see the results from this Afro Sheen collection and see if it's a yay or a nay. So yes, so we will be back when these bad boys completely dry. Okay you guys, so I'm back with my hair fully dry. So now it's time to take out these perm rods and to see what this Afro Sheen collection is working with. Ooh, look at that. Okay guys, do you see the definition in these perm rods and these shine? I haven't even added oil until, oh, I missed one. Oh wait, I missed two. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even add oil to my hair yet. So that's a good thing. And then my curls are really, really bouncy. And really soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little oil to my hand to help with the separation process. So we can see what the end results look like. Okay, you guys, so I finished picking out my hair, fluffed it out, got my volume together. So the next thing I'm going to use is this Afro Sheen Glow Up Shine Spray. And this is for finishes and add shine. And it also has coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and grapeseed oil for condition, strength, and moisture. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I am loving it. I feel like every time when I do a perm rod set, it's like, I always say this is my best one. But I feel like this one might be my best one. So this is the final results of my perm rod set using some of the products from the new Afro Sheen collection. And sis, I love it. So let's go ahead and get into this product review and talk about each product that I use on my hair today. Okay, so the first product, the Velvet Flow 4-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner. First of all, one thing, I am really not a fan of spray leave-in conditioners. Um, I'm not really sure if this helped my hair or not because I couldn't really see the product. Now, I don't know if my hair actually soaked it up or not, but um, it's a pretty thick leave-in conditioner, which I actually do like for it to be a spray. Because a lot of other spray leave-in conditioners, they're super duper loose and kind of like on the watery base, which I definitely don't like. So this is okay. I'm not sure if I would use this a lot just because it is a spray. And it is a little bit difficult for me to use because when my hands do get wet, it's kind of hard to just pump this because it's like sliding all over the place. Okay, so the next thing is the Crown Defining Curl Cream. Now this curl cream, you guys, it is like, sis, like, like I thought it was, it's not, Thick, which I like it's like almost like a whipped cream like a whipped icing or something like that like it's super duper whipped and like smooth which I love okay and when I put this on my hair I instantly knew that it was going to give me a bomb result which it did I like this so I'm definitely going to try this out on a twist out I haven't did a twist out in a while but I'm definitely going to try this out on a twist out because this right here I like it. The next thing is the Lush Fro Butter. Now, this Lush Fro Butter, um, it's kind of like, it's kind of iffy to me because since it's a butter, I would expect for it to like 
immediately melt into your hands once it feels the warmness in your hand but it does not it takes a little bit of time and it has kind of like a grainy texture initially after you start massaging it into your hand it actually do dissolve into a nice oil um but it just kind of takes a while which is kind of like strange to me with a butter i feel like a lot of butters that i use if i do use a butter they kind of like dissolve immediately as soon as they hit your hand because of the warmth but this one kind of is just a little bit weird with the grainy umness but a little bit definitely goes a long way which i actually do love about this product um it definitely gave my hair a lot of shine and hydration obviously and the last product is glow up shine spray now i've used like I guess like a setting spray or is it called a setting spray or like a holding spray in the past like when I was permed and everything else but this one it seems like a little bit on the heavier end and it's a lot of oil because like even like when I was spraying it out um into the air like it was really really like kind of thick particles or bigger particles like and when I put it on my hand it was super duper oily um so I don't know if I will really use this too much just because I feel like I don't know I don't want it to like weigh down my hair with all the oil I understand it's supposed to maybe do like a whole situation but I feel like I don't really need this um and I could just use like a regular oil for that but this is okay but not necessarily needed but the overall results of my perma set I love you guys just look my hair it has so much body the curls are amazing and even though i do need a trim as you can see it does not look that bad because of these products like my hair looks good it looks good so you guys so i am going to go ahead and list down all the products that i use on my hair today down in the description box as well as where you can purchase it from i believe you can only purchase it from their website i think but i will do a little bit more research but you guys, if you did enjoy this good old demo and review of the Afro Sheen newest collection, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have not already, which I hope you did, sis, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below. Turn it gray and hit that bell notification when it pops up so you can be notified every time when I post a new video. Bye, guys.